Alright guys, welcome back to your 35th intermediate Java tutorial, and now that we did all the coding of address bar, what we can do now is just go ahead and add it on the screen. So add address, two S's though, address bar, and uh, where do we want to lay it? We'll just keep this simple, border layout north. So pretty much now our address bar is appearing at the top of the screen. You can put it at the bottom if you want, but you know, might as well keep things standardized. So now, like I said, our GUI is going to have two main parts. The address bar, which is where the user types the URL that they want to go to, and also the main display, which is the big area, the main area where the web page, the pictures, the text all gets displayed. So we already made a variable for this called display as a JEditor pane. So let's go ahead and actually create it right now. So display equals new JEditor pane. Doesn't take any uh, extra information. Now what I want to do is actually call a method called display set editable false. Now set editable is a method which pretty much asks, do you want to be able to edit the contents inside the J editor pane? Now, the reason that you would ever have this is true is if you're making a program like Notepad or Microsoft Word or something, something that you would need to change the contents of, then you would want to set this as true. But typically, whenever you go to a browser, like looking at YouTube or something, you can't just change the titles of people's videos. So that's why you want to set that equal to false. So you can't change the crap inside only view it. So after this, what I want to do is take this display, which is the main window, and I want to add a hyperlink listener. Now what a hyperlink listener is going to do is it's going to sit on every link that gets displayed because you know whenever you go to a website there's a bunch of different links usually on every single website so what this is going to do is it's going to sit on the links and wait for you to click a link now once you click a link it's going to grab the URL that that link points to and it's going to pass it into load crap so basically remember load crap method is responsible for going reading HTML files and displaying them on the screen. So if you want to go to a web ugh, sorry, if you want to go to a website, you can do one of two things. You can manually type it into the address bar or you can go ahead and click on a link which is going to go ahead and grab the URL and it just saves you from typing in, you know, a link. I mean, typing in the URL when you could just easily click a link. So that's what add hyperlink listener does. So well, let's go ahead and uh, you know work on all the good stuff. So new hyperlink listener is our class. Make sure I got everything typed in. I need to. All right, new hyperlink listener is our class, and the method that gets called is hyperlink update. So public void. You know what, I keep wanting to type an uppercase L for hyperlink. I keep forgetting it's two words. Hyperlink update. And this gets passed in uh, hyperlink event event. So there you go. So first of all, let me explain this. Why is it called hyperlink update instead of, you know, um, hyperlink click? Well, the reason that you have hyperlink update is because this method is called whenever a hyperlink event happens. So basically whenever an event happens on your link. So you may be thinking, okay, only one thing can happen on my link, right? Either you click it or you don't. If you click it, it's an event. If you don't click it, then nothing happened. Well, that's actually not true. And if you're familiar with something like JavaScript, this may be a little more familiar to you. See, your computer is also going to recognize a couple more events. The first one is when you roll over an event. So check this out. This is actually, pretend this is a link right here. I'm not clicking anything, but just when I roll over it, you see how this little documentation pops up? That's an event as well. So I think that whenever you roll over it, the event is called enter. And whenever you roll away from it, then the event is called exited. And of course, you can just go ahead and click it. And you know, that would be going to the website. So remember, pretty much to sum all that up, there are not only one hyperlink event which is clicked, but 
there are also three rolling over it rolling away from it or clicking it now those aren't aren't the technical terms and I'll tell you guys the technical terms in a little bit but I just want to explain that there are more hyperlink events than you guys probably think so what we need to do now is we really don't care if they roll over a link or roll away from it we're only concerned with if they click the link itself because we only want to go to the new web page if they click a link so the first thing we need to do is determine what they did to that link so in order to do that if event get type and this this pretty much returns the different types of events you can have such as click which is called activated roll over which is called entered and roll away from which is called exited so okay we want to say okay if this is equal to hyperlink this is a pain to type and there we go I was waiting for something to pop up. It's like a little satisfaction knows that you type something wrong. I mean, type something right. Okay, one second. So if the event or the type of event that pretty much the user did was equal to activated, which pretty much means, okay, did they click the link? Then that's the only thing I'm concerned with. Then what I want to do is, of course, use that load crap method that we didn't create yet to go to whatever location that hyperlink is pointing to. So of course load crap is going to take a string as we learned in the last tutorial. So in order to, well this is probably going to be easier if I type this out. The event is rolling over the link in order to get the URL of the link, get URL. Now this pretty much returns a URL which if you can see is actually a URL object. So you know we already learned about URL objects whenever we made the very first uh, networking app but what we want to do is we actually want to convert this to a string. So in order to convert a URL object to a string object use the method to string. Okay looks easy enough. So why am I getting an error right here? Oh get event type so there we go so basically to summarize one last time what we did in this tutorial and I'll, I'll add everything to the screen in the next tutorial but we worked on the main brains for the display so the display was a J editor pane you couldn't edit edit it so what we did was we put a listener that sits on top every single sits on top of every single link whenever it gets displayed and it waits for you to click one of those links whenever you click one of those links which is called activated that's the event name what it's going to do is it's going to grab the URL from that link convert it to a string and pass it into this load crap method and that's the last method that we're going to program in the next video so once you know it gets passed in the load crap then it's going to go to that new URL whatever you clicked on and display that web page on the screen so in the next tutorial what we need to do is actually display or add this to the GUI and then work on the load crap method which is actually incredibly easy so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then